Hey, you guys. I just wanted to get on here real quick. Leon and I are just running around doing this, that, and the other. I made some um, chicken and dumplings. And anyway, I'm getting excited about our uh, live tonight. But you see this Neosporin and the Q-tips? I don't know if you know that you can put Neosporin on a Q-tip, put it in your nose, okay? I would show you, but uh, I don't think you want to see me putting anything in my nose. But it will prevent infectious bacteria because a lot of times when you get an infection or something like that, it will go to, up into your nose. You know, the infection will go up into your nose and into your body. That's why they always say don't put your hands around your mouth because you can actually touch something. You know, it will go up in your nose. But my sister told me this a long time ago, and I did look it up before I decided to tell y'all about it. Um, you can put a little, a little Neosporin on a Q-tip and rub it in the nostrils of your nose. Okay, it says do not do it more than three times a day. But if you are going out and about, if you want to put a little Neosporin in your nose, go ahead and do it. And I wanted to show y'all one other thing. Hold on. Okay, this has absolutely nothing to do medical-wise, but... I was putting up some of our stuff, and do you see this piece of wood right here? Okay, this piece of wood is just a a piece of a piece of cedar fence left over. So Leon took that piece of cedar fence, that board, and he cut it, and then he I had a um a bunch of these little hooks right here you can get at Walmart, and he made something to where I could put his belts and his uh, ties on. Okay, he did the same thing right here, the cedar piece of wood that was left over from when we did our uh, siding on our sunroom. He took these hooks for me as well and made me, I screwed these hooks in here and that's where I put my belt and my scarves. You can use any, any old type of wood. He did one for my sister and for her closet and it was cypress. And you can use any kind of hooks, these little cheap hooks right here. And make you a coat rack or a rack for your belts and your purses and things like that. So I thought I'd get on there and give y'all those few tips. Alright, see y'all tonight.